Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about the basic operation and various characteristics of a triac. As we discuss the basic working principle, operation and characteristics of diac, and diac is very much similar to diode, but two diodes in opposite direction construct a diac. In a similar way, a triac consists of two thyristors. So let's talk about how it is being constructed, what is the symbolic diagram of a triac, and what is its working principle. So friends, as you all can see the symbolic diagram of a triac. So here, there are two thyristors, and this is a common gate terminal. And A1 be the anode 1, and A2 is the anode 2. So friends, let's talk about how it is being constructed or what is the working principle of a triac. So friends, here you all can see in this circuit diagram, whenever this triac is connected to an external voltage source with a load resistance, obviously when it trigger the gate signal, the thyristors will be starting conducting in two multiple directions in the similar way as a diac. But once the gate is triggered, it cannot be stopped or the thyristor cannot stop conducting of its own or automatically. Again, we need a commutation circuit to stop the triac from conducting the flow of electric current. Now let's talk about how it really works in an electrical circuit. So friends, here I have connected a triac with a load to a AC voltage source. Let's say AC voltage source is a sinusoidal voltage source. Now during the positive half cycle, one of this thyristor is forward biased. And if at that point of time, if an external gate pulse is applied, or in other words, the gate is triggered, this will start conducting in this direction. But during the negative half cycle, the other triac will start conducting again in the same direction. But condition is that the gate triggering pulse should be there. But if you take off the gate triggering pulse, the triac will still start conducting. So for a better understanding, let's draw the VI characteristics of a triac. So friends, let the first quadrant be the forward bias condition and the third quadrant be the reverse bias condition. So during the forward bias condition, initially there will be a small leakage current. Once the current reaches to the latching current value, let's say here when we supply a small triggering gate pulse, it reaches to the latching current value and again it reaches to the holding current value and the current suddenly rises. So this is called the on state during positive This is called the on state during positive half cycle. So now, again, let's say for different value of gate current, say IG1, IG2, and IG3. So for different values of gate current, the time of the thyristor to reach to its conducting state will vary. So in this case, IG1 will be greater than IG2 and IG2 will be greater than I. So in this case, IG1 will be greater than IG2 and IG2 will be greater than IG3. Now friends, let's talk about the third quadrant or the reversed biased condition of a triac. Similarly, whenever we keep on increasing the negative voltage, there will be a small reverse leakage current, like in the positive half cycle. Now, once the voltage crosses the reversed breakdown voltage, 
it will suddenly start conducting and reaches to its own state. So this is called reversed breakdown current. So this will be the on state during, this will be the on state during negative half cycle. Now, let's see for various value of gate current, what happens to the curve. As I discussed earlier, if I change the value of gate current, the time for the thyristor to reach to its conduction state will vary. If the gate current is higher, the time will be faster. If the current is low, which is less than the latching current, the current will be, or the time will be faster. Now friends, here, this is all about the VI characteristics of a triac. So this state here, from here to here, will be off, will be off state. And this state here, for the reversed bias condition, is will be off, it will be off state again. So friends, this is all about the VI characteristics of a triac. Now friends, what is the disadvantage of a triac? Again, the triac can conduct whenever there is a gate pulse, but once it starts conducting, we need an external gate pulse to switch off the circuit or stop the triac from conducting. So the advantage would be it can be used in any DC drive, it can be used in high power application of power electronics drive, it can be used in any commutation circuit. But the disadvantage would be its commutation circuit or how we can allow the triac not to conduct. Once it starts conducting, it does not stop. We need an external circuit to stop the triac from conducting electricity. Thank you so much friends for watching this video. Please subscribe to Ikeda and stay tuned with Ikeda. Thank you so much.